Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are weeks away from the birth of their first royal baby. Now the couple have moved into their Frogmore Cottage home, will Meghan Markle give birth in Windsor? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child this month, as the Duchess herself has hinted before. In January, Meghan Markle revealed to a royal fan she was six months into her pregnancy, meaning the child would be born this April. In preparation, Meghan and Harry have left their residence at Kensington Palace and moved into a new Windsor property of Frogmore Cottage, splitting Prince William and Harry's royal households. This move may see the Duke and Duchess opt against the traditional royal birth at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington. Where will Meghan Markle give birth? High-profile royal births in recent years have taken place at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington. The Lindo Wing of the hospital is renowned for its opulence and exclusive private health care, making it the perfect place for a royal to give birth. Princess Diana gave birth to both William and Harry in the wing in the 1980s, and Kate has given birth to all of her and William's children there as well. Meghan, having now relocated to Windsor, is expected to have her child a little closer to her new home. Currently, bookmakers have odds on the seventh in line to the throne being born at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey. Frimley Park is close to Windsor and managed by the NHS perfect for Meghan Markle's progressive sensibilities. It was also the hospital Sophie the Countess of Wessex chose for the birth of her two children Louise and James. Bookmakers at Ladbrokes currently have the odds of this happening at 5-6. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes said, It's safe to say Meghan is doing things in her own way rather than the royal way, and we've been forced to slash the odds of a birth much closer to Frogmore Cottage at Frimley Park. In a further departure from tradition, Harry and Meghan have snubbed the Queen's private birthing team in favour of their own. Talking to the Mail on Sunday, a source close to the royals said, Meghan said she doesn't want the men in suits. She was adamant that she wanted her own people. It did leave a few of us a little baffled. This decision coupled with a prospective birth away from the Lindo wing suggests Meghan has opted for privacy. One royal source told The Sun, this child will not be born at the Lindo. The talk of all the senior clinicians there is that Meghan doesn't want to copy what Kate did. Harry and Meghan realize there is intense public interest but this baby is not a direct heir to the throne and they want the birth to be as private as possible.